Hello everyone, and welcome to my first video. Or ours if you'd rather. <coughs> Pardon me for this. Today I'm going to be talking about breaking it down for the three characters that I'm going to be talking about. As you know, they appear in the end of the Extinction of the Genetic Bioweapons installment of the SG Future series. Why do you ask? Because all you can see right now is their back views. I don't know if they should have siblings or not. I just wanted to make this so that you guys could get the idea. Do you understand all this? Good, because here they are right now. Yeah. This dragon hog's name is going to be Cyrus. I wonder why I named him that. Well, believe it or not, the reason why I chose to name him this is because, well, I just thought that a dragon hog mobian slash abolition hybrid would be awesome to see. I understand that dragons have wings and all, but Mylak doesn't have these. Neither does his, her son. Yes, you heard me. This is Sonic the Hedgehog and Sash Lilac's son, exclusive in the Sonic Galaxy forums website. Sometimes I can't help but wonder, whatever happened to Sonic after Dare Danny is erased from existence forever, thus no longer existing in any worlds? Well. All I know is that Sonic decided to forge a love relationship with the Abolition Dragon, Sash Lilac, after he tells the Blue and Red Hedgehog to continue his legacy until the end of time. So if you look carefully in the back, Cyrus has her mother's hair blades that he can use in battle. Quite intriguing if I do say so myself. He can also use his speed and dash in longer distances, even in midair, making him succeed his father Sonic and his mother Lilac. He's so friggin' fast that not even one human being can catch up to him. Not even in a running contest. Just think about it, you guys. Running around 30 to 40 seconds per lap, he's like DC Comics Flash and Marvel Comics Quicksilver combined. He can also use the Dragon Force ability, which allows him to draw power from his mother and father's blood. When synced with living beings in an electromagnetic field, it amplifies and distorts their perception and placement in individual time, versus a time outside their own view. Wait, why am I saying this? That screw attacks death battle I'm getting a reference from. Wrong channel! This is a Sonic Galaxy Boys channel! Is he truly as good as his father and mother? We'll see in the future. Ah, ah young love between a two-tailed fox and a girl Evolution hound. Wait, what? If they were to make a fox slash hound hybrid child, then his name would be Jesco. And there's a good reason I'm calling him that. Because he has his father and mother's features. Why in God's name did I create such a character as this one? Ah, it doesn't matter. Let's just go with it, shall we? So after Tails and Mila get married at some time after the end of Endesis, I'm just going to say that as a character creator and designer, I've decided to make this character. Jesco is a cool name, don't you think? It's not just those green energy cubes and that energy barrier Mila uses, because that's what Jesco has from her. Not only did he inherit Tails' abilities, but he also works on Carol's bike for her and Knuckles' son to ride on. Oh wait, we're talking about him, aren't we? Well, at least you know why. I'm sure that you can see that he's a flight-type character! He can fly up to 500 yards, as well as reach to the top of the buildings, with the use of his two tails that he inherited from his father Tails. After all, what more could you expect from a fox slash hound hybrid of both Mobian and Abolician blood? <laughs> Don't go anywhere, I got one more character to tell you about, and that's Matthew, son of Knuckles the Echidna and Carol Tia. I'm really getting into these Mobilian slash Avalisian hybrids, aren't I? Well, at least let me break this down to you. After being formed sometime after the... Wait, I said that already. Let's try something else. Matthew is going to be a power type member of the team of three, with his buddy Cyrus being the speed type. There, I covered the Sonic Heroes types for you. Now let's get down to business. As I said before, yes. Matthew rides on that motorbike that Jesco has working on, been working on for him. He also has hidden claws on his fingers and super strength that he inherited from his father, Knuckles. Why? 
because this guy's a cat kidna. <laughs> Nah, I think you know the rest on this character. He also inherited Knuckles' ability to glide. Don't believe me? There's more. The Cat Kidna also has the ability to use his claws as melee weapons. Because usually, a tiger's claws are sharp enough to rip off human flesh. And animals. So now you know why I created that relationship of Knuckles and Carol. That would make Carol's sister Matthew's aunt. She's set for her debut in Freedom Planet 2 that's coming out on 2017, by the way. Guess it all runs in the family for both cats and echidnas, huh? There! Now you know all about the three that I've broke it all down for you with. It's not bad for a first video, if I do say so myself. I was going to add some more info on them, but I think that should just about cover it. Remember everyone, just like in my videos on my other account, don't forget to fave, comment, share, like, and subscribe to our channel for more videos. And as always, thanks for watching.